Hey guys, what's up? It's Duncan here, KH Fan, bringing you guys my first album review of the year. And this will be the first review I've done since November when I reviewed the new Destruction album. I'm sorry I look tired. I've been working my ass off these last few weeks and I barely get any sleep in between the days. But, bringing you guys an album review, finally, um, this time of the new Hatebreed record, Div The Divinity of Purpose. This is a follow-up to their 2009 self-titled album, which in my opinion was a really, really good Hatebreed album. I mean, it's probably their easily their best album since uh, Perseverance, which is still their best record to date. And for those who may or may not know, I went to go see them back in September and they played the entire Perseverance album from front to back. It was awesome. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the new album, Divinity of Purpose. Now, as soon as I heard the song uh, put it on the torch. It got me a little stoked for this record. But then I listened, I just got done listening to this record, and honestly, if you've heard one re Hatebreed record, you've heard them all. Because it's basically the same concept, it's almost sounding the same, same style of hardcore metal, whatever you want to call it. But it's still a good record. I mean, Hatebreed haven't really released a, an album that I didn't like. Um, even though their like earlier stuff isn't the best that I that's like my least favorite, but it's still good. Um, Divinity of Purpose is definitely not as good as the last record being a self-titled because the self-titled I think was a little more interesting than most of their other material. It actually included like some drum solos. I mean, not, not drum solos, guitar solos. Excuse me, on that record. I mean, there was some on previous records, but the the guitar solos on the on the self-titled album really stood out for me from all the other Hatebreed material. Um, but the guys in Hatebreed definitely put out a solid record with this one. I mean, everything about it, it's just the, the instrumentation between the guitars, bass, and uh, the drums are extremely tight with each other. I mean, Hatebreed's one of the tightest bands around. And Jamie Joss's vocals sound as fucking pissed off as possible. I mean, he sounds pissed off in every record, but he's just belting it out, and he, that's what he's good at. Uh, I really like the lyrics on this on this record. I can't really name any lyrics because I just got done listening to it for the first time, and it's just nothing but positivity with Hey Bree. Because when they when they write lyric when Jamie Joster writes the lyrics, it's it's always like a pot. It has, always has that positive vibe, really. Um, and some of the vocals on the record really surprised me. I mean, on the song uh, "Boundless Boundless Time to Murder," I mean he his, his screaming voice went really high, which is probably the her the highest I've ever heard from him. Um, the guitars were really tight with each other. I mean, there are some chug, there's kind of like some chug moments, sort of, but uh, it's nothing overdone, and there are a few breakdowns on here that kind of sound like what modern metal bands would do most of the time, except they're not overused and redundant as hell. Cough, cough, and mirror. Um, the bass is a little bit audible on this record. I mean, it's not the most noticeable thing on the record as for past Hatebreed records, but it's it's there and it's it's well mixed into the album. Uh, Matt Burns uh, drumming, he's definitely one of the better ones in like metal hard in like hardcore in general. Um, his drumming is exceptionally tight. I mean, he's 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 got tight drumming on every record that Hatebreed's ever done, and this album is no exception whatsoever. I mean. Some of the drumming on this record kind of impressed me a little bit. I mean, it's a little simplistic, but it's not its not simplistic to the point where it's, like, extremely boring and whatnot. So, overall, it's its damn good for, for the instrumentation. Um, like I said, lyrics are good, but this record just didn't really hit me as much or as hard as, like, the, the uh, self-titled record. I thought that album was ph phenomenal. I think that's their best work since Perseverance, like I said before. Um, but all in all, it's a very good record. Um, some of my favorite songs on the record include Put It On The Torch, uh, Honor Never Dies, Indivisible, Before The Fight Ends You, Dead Man Breathing, the title track, Divinity of Purpose, uh, Nothing Scars Me, and um, Boundless Time To Murder It. If I were to give this album a score, I'm going to give it a solid... 7 out of 10. It's a, it's a solid record, but it's nothing mind-blowing or amazing or whatever. Um, 
but it's, it's a decent record if you like uh, some hardcore type music. Um, so yeah, that's my first album review of the year. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's it didn't kick it off with a bang like last year did with the Lamb of God record, but it's it's a damn good record. I'm sure this album is gonna grow on me with more with more listens to it. So I'm pretty stoked on what the rest of 2013 has to offer. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'll see you guys later. Peace out and keep it metal.